I've been sent from the education institution to remove you from the premises. What do you mean? This must be a mistake. I've done nothing wrong. You cannot take me away. The institution is under the impression that you forged your papers to become the principal. Now a full investigation is underway. This is a mistake. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, you can't take me away. Okay, Donnie, I don't know what's wrong with her, but I think I think we need to call an ambulance or something. There's something. Oh, oh I don't my know. gosh, oh my gosh, this is this is crazy. Oh my, what, what, you're supposed to be looking at them all the time. They're only babies. Okay, okay, uh, you stay with them. I'm going to go and call the ambulance, okay? I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, Donnie. Little Kelly, I'm just inside with Sonny, just hanging out. Look at him, look at him, he's actually standing up on two feet. <gasps> oh my goodness, Sonny, are you? No, is he about to... That's is, it. Is he going to take his first step? Sonny, come on. Sonny. Come come on, on. Follow your mommy and daddy. <gasps> is he doing it? He's walking. Oh my, oh my gosh, gosh, look at him jumping around. He's so excited that he can walk now. This is crazy. It's unbelievable. I can't believe he's walking already. It's so good. But I mean, it's such a bad time as well that that uh, our poor little daughter is down in the hospital. I know. Robin is down there. And, and the doctors have told us that we need to come down. They told us not to rush, though. Take our time. Get some food together. I'm guessing that means that she's awake if they want us to bring her food. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. It's been a couple of days now and we haven't heard anything good. So hopefully, uh, uh, let's in. Sonny, do you want to come with us? You want to come? Us. Look yeah, at I him think jumping he wants to come down. He wants to come. Okay, uh, I was thinking Robin loves donuts, so maybe we can stop in the Dunkin' Donuts on the way down. Absolutely. We can get some candy, we can get some donuts, we can get loads of nice presents for her, make sure that she's really happy when she gets out of the hospital. Yes, oh my gosh, I just can't wait to see her and see her sitting up, and maybe, maybe she'll be able to walk like Sunny now. Yeah, they're twins, so they should be able to do the same things at the same time, so I guess if she gets out of the hospital, she'll be able to walk as well, and then we'll be able to take them to their park and take them to the zoo and do lots of things with them. Yeah, it will be so much fun. I think that we should just walk down today because those little carts seem like they're kind of dangerous sometimes. Yeah, they're a bit tricky all right and as well we don't want him to crash and he's little you want him to walk as well yeah no no risk of accident stay if we're getting one kid out of hospital i certainly don't want to put the other one in there because we were trying to drive a golf cart down some steps oh my gosh come on sonny come on follow us follow us come on sonny you're doing so good look he's able to do the stairs and everything oh he's brilliant i bet he's so excited to see his sister and they can walk around together and play loads of games i know that's obviously why he's walking because he knows his sister's all better and he's going to be able to see her and he's going to be so excited it's so i just can't wait to see her donnie i mean having a kid in hospital is so stressful Oh, it's so, so stressful. I was so worried when, she, when we went in and she was uh, falling over, but the ambulance came really, really quickly, so hopefully they're able to look after her. Yeah, I know. Oh, my gosh, it's so insane. When when the ambulance came, it was just so scary. It was so, so scary. I can't believe one of our babies is in hospital, but look, maybe we should get her some ice cream and some Dunkin' Donuts, will we? Yes, it sounds like a great idea. She loves strawberry ice cream. Okay, ice cream shop's over here. Oh, my gosh, she's going to be Come so on, happy. Come Sunny, this way. Hello, madam. We're looking for some strawberry ice cream, please. I need yeah, some over this see. side. Um, is this strawberry? Oh. Let me check. Uh, no, that's cherry. I found some. I got some strawberry oh, ice cream. Oh, I got some too. Okay, we'll bring her two loads. And Sunny, you like uh, what is it that you like? You like vanilla, I think he don't likes you? Chocolate, like his daddy. Oh, chocolate. That's right. You're right. You're right. How could I forget? Let me see. Is this chocolate down here? Yes, chocolate. Awesome. Thanks, madam. We're going to take these ice creams. Just put it on our account, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, come on, guys. Let's leave here. And we need to go to Dunkin' Donuts and get Robin so donuts because she just loves donuts. She's like her uncle that way. Donut the dog. Donut the dog. Yep, yeah, she's like her uncle. All right. She loves the donuts. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We're going to get loads of donuts. We've got some ice cream. So when she comes to us, she's going to be really, really happy. And she's going to come home really, really happy. And I think no more accidents. We have to just make sure there's no more accidents in the house and everyone's really, really safe. I don't know how to tell you this, but our butler needs a talking to because he, like, let her fall or whatever happened. We don't even know exactly what I happened. Think, I think he's just too old. He's been around that castle for too long and I think we need to get someone that's a bit younger and a bit able for the two twins. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or maybe we should get them a nanny, you know, someone who's literally just dedicated to watching them at all 
all times and making sure they're safe. Yeah, absolutely. Because that butler is just too busy kind of like doing our laundry and making our dinner and doing all these things as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, is this oh, the Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts, Donuts here? Here it is. Okay, well, let's go on in and see. I don't know. I can't remember which one Robin's favorite is, but I'll be Lots able to know when I see. Lots of sprinkles and pink. I think that's the one she likes. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. She likes strawberry ice cream and she likes all things pink. Gosh, who does she remind you of? <laughs> uh, maybe her mommy. Yeah, probably. Okay, I've got the pink one with sprinkles. I might pick up one for myself. Do you want one? No, I'm okay. I've got some ice cream here. Okay, okay. Well, I've got two anyway, so if you get hungry, let me know. But, okay, now it's time to go see Robin. I'm so excited. Come on, Sonny. Follow us. The hospital just over here. Oh we're almost gosh. there. We're almost going to see your little baby sister. And you can show her how you're walking now. And when she sees you walking, then maybe she's going to walk as well. Yes, it's going to be so exciting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I hope she's okay. I mean, it must have been so scary for her to wake up in the hospital all by herself and not know where she was. I know. I'm sure she's really, really scared. But we're almost there. Okay. Do you know which room she's in? She's probably in a royal suite or something, isn't she? I think, yeah. I think they moved her from the testing room to the royal suite. So we should be hey able guys, to find her. Hey, guys. It's uh, the king and queen here. So we're looking for our daughter. Yeah. Um, uh, let me see. Which one is this? The operating room. No, hopefully she's not in there. Uh, operating room four. Oh, my gosh. There's so many operating rooms in this hospital. Oh, I think it's over here, Donny. Let's have a look. Which one is it? Uh, operating room. Oh, oh the oh. royal suite. This okay, is it. Okay, here we it. go. <gasps> Wait. This one. Robin? Sorry. Robin. Oh my gosh, she's still asleep. She's still asleep. She's still asleep, but I she's thought they said that she, she was awake and she was okay. Oh my gosh, where's the doctor? Where's the doctor? We need to find out some information here. Where's the doctor? Doctor, doctor, someone please come talk to us. Little Kelly and little Donnie, it's uh, very good to see you here, but I'm afraid we've got some terrible, terrible news. Your young daughter is in a coma and there's nothing we can do. We don't know what's going on. I'm afraid we're going to have to do some more tests. Oh no, Donnie, did you oh, gosh, hear doctor. that? She's That's in a so coma bad. and they can't help her. Oh, our no, poor daughter. I don't daughter. understand what happened. She just fell over. I mean, it was like she just fell over like a little toy or something. How is she in a coma after such a little small incident? I don't understand what's going on here. I don't, I don't get it. I'm afraid, guys, I mean, we don't know either. We're going to have to run some more tests. Uh, I'm not sure what else I can tell you. Oh my gosh, Doctor, this is terrible. What are we going to do, little Kelly? What are we going to do here? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Doctor, please, please, do whatever you can to help our daughter. I can't believe this. I mean, we brought her donuts. We thought she was coming home today. Oh, no, Daddy. I got her some ice cream as well. Oh my gosh, little Kelly, um, what are we going to do? Maybe um, we should just go uh, home and wait, just, just... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I, I, I have an idea. B but we need to take Sunny and we need to go back to the castle. Robin, we'll come back, I promise. Come on. Okay, oh Doctor, gosh. we're going to be back really, really soon. Please look after. Please do loads of tests, okay? I have to call someone. I haven't spoke to them in years. I mean, it might end up being a good idea or a bad idea, but I think it's the only hope that we have. Oh my gosh, okay, okay, good, okay. Is this person going to be able to help us? I think so. Let's get back to the castle. Oh my gosh, little Kelly, I'm so worried about our daughter. But who's this person that's going to help us out? Okay, well, I'll give them a call now, but um, it's it's someone really, really important. Okay, it's, it's ringing, it's ringing. Uh, hello? Yes, yes, it is me. Oh, I know we haven't spoken in a while, but I really need you to come to our castle. Me and little Donnie's. Yeah, no, I need you right away. It's an emergency, please. Okay, he okay, said that Kelly, he'll be I'm, here I'm in a, a second. I'm kind of worried here. Do you know this person well? I mean, have they, have they helped you out before? Yes, they've helped me with so many things. It's it's the wizard, the one I grew up with, and it's crazy. I know it sounds bizarre, but he's going to help us with this. Come on, he'll be here already. Okay, okay. Is this the wizard of the magical kingdom? Yes, yes, he, I grew up with this man. He helped me with so many things. How, <gasps> Look! How, how's he here already? You only just called him like two seconds ago. He's magic, Donnie. He can do amazing things. He'll be able to help our daughter. I just know it. Oh, oh wizard, gosh, wizard. Hi, how are you? Hey, what's going on, wizard? Um, um, can you help us out? Little Kelly, little Donnie, it's so good to see you. But why did I have to rush here? What's wrong? Oh, Wizard, we're so glad you're here. Well, the thing is, this is our son, Sonny, and he has a twin sister, and her name is Robin, and she she's going to be the next queen of this kingdom, but she's in the hospital, and they don't know what's wrong with her. She's in some sort of coma. I think she fell or something. It's yeah, really, just, really scary. She was playing with some toys the other day, and she just fell over, but now she's in a coma, and we don't know what to do. We're so, so worried. Can you help us? Yes, we really, really need your help. The doctors don't know what's wrong, and you're the only person I could think that could help. Oh, well, I can go visit her, but I don't know how much help I'll be. Sometimes these things just happen without explanation. 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so worried, but please, please, thank you so much. You can help us, Little Kelly. He's going to help us. Oh, thank you so much, Wizard. Okay, the hospital is just down in the village. Um, I know you're probably going to teleport, but we have to walk. Come on, guys. Okay, okay, uh, Doctor, we'll meet you down there, okay? Oh my gosh, Little Kelly, this is just crazy. I can't believe this is happening. I know, I know, our poor daughter, and there's no medical explanation, and the Wizard is the only person I can think of, but uh, once it's not dark magic, we should be fine. If he uses just the light magic to, to try and wake her up or something, we'll be fine, and then we'll have our daughter back. Okay, okay. I just don't understand. Wait, why do we need magic? I mean, I mean, do you think some magic kind of made her sick? I honestly don't know, Donny. Like, like the wizard said, sometimes these things just happen. But I f- have a feeling that there's something more going on. It's like a mother's intuition. I just, I feel like there's something bigger than just her tripping over and falling. I mean, I know, it's it definitely insane. has to be something going on because you no know, kids fall over all the time. I mean, they're they're gonna fall over lots when they're in school when they're playing with their friends. And if she just falls over and gets into a coma, we're gonna have to be so so careful in the future. I know, I know, but. I I really have a feeling that this this was intentional or something. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like a, oh I feel like gosh. a mother and a, like that where my babies are under attack and we need to figure out what is going on before it gets any worse. I wonder if somebody evil doing this to us. Maybe somebody like has a grudge against us because uh, we've got this kingdom and we're so happy together and we've got our new family. Maybe someone wants to do something bad to us. I don't know, Donnie, but I mean, who would hate us that much that they'd want to hurt our baby daughter? And okay, little Donnie, I mean, he's in there now and he's Who's with... Who's there? Oh my gosh, he teleported already. I know, I know. And he's, he's told me to tell you that we need to give him time to try and figure this out. Okay, okay. What are we going to do? Maybe we should just take Sunny outside and get him out of this hospital because it's so scary in here for little baby with all these sick people everywhere. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We don't want him getting sick either. So we'll go and occupy him and try. I mean, he's probably understanding a lot more lately. He probably knows that his sister is sick and he's probably really, really scared. So we have to make sure that that, that we make sure that he's okay, you know, and yeah, keep yeah, him occupied. On. Come on, Sonny, come on outside. Look, it's really sunny outside, and we know you like the sun because that's what you're named after. So come on. Uh, yeah, come look over here, Sonny. Look, there is uh, people playing soccer. Oh my gosh, one day you're going to be a big soccer player. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, let's show them the soccer. Yeah, come on, Sonny, let's have a look at the soccer pitch. You're going to play soccer when you're in school because I used to play soccer when I was younger as well. Come on, guys. Oh, sorry, guys. We're just showing our son how you guys are playing. Great hey, job. Guys. Who's winning? I think the blue team's winning. Oh my gosh, they need to cut the grass in here. It's so long. Grass is getting a bit long, but these guys look like they're having loads of fun. Hi. And look, there's loads of guys playing basketball down here as well. <gasps> there is, and maybe Sonny will be a basketball player as well. And there's loads of kids watching on the sidelines, which is so cool. I mean, this basketball court is awesome. It's so cool. There's so much awesome facilities over here for the school. These guys, oh, I was going to say our guys, but our two, one baby's in hospital and one baby's here. So once we get them both better, we can bring them over to the school because we did get that principal fired last week. Yes, you're right. We have to see who it was replaced with. I mean, I really hope that it was a really nice woman and she's so sweet and looks after our babies. But it's kind of crazy that all this is happening so quickly. And I just really want Robin to wake up because I don't want to put Sonny in school without Robin because he'll just feel so sad and lonely. Oh, no, they're twins. They have to do everything together. They're going to feel really, really weird. But oh, my gosh, I hope this wizard can help us out and get uh, Robin back to us so that Sonny can, can go to, to the school as well. Yeah, well, maybe we should go back into the wizard and see if he's made any any progress with Robin. And maybe maybe she's awake already. Oh, my gosh. What if he woke her up and she's there and she's scared and she's never met the wizard before? And we oh, just I need hope to get he can. There. I hope he can. I don't know this wizard at all. I mean, has he helped you so much in the past? Oh, so much, Donya. I swear, I don't know where I'd be without that wizard. But he's a really, really good man. And he always helps me. And he helped me with my witch powers as well. So we need to make sure that he's okay and that he doesn't need any help trying to wake Robin up. Well, that sounds good. I mean, it sounds like he knows what he's doing he's had lots of problems before to deal with so hopefully he's be able to help us now okay look he's still in there let's go inside <gasps> huh, wizard wizard hi um we were just wondering how was robin do you know what's wrong with her can you wake her up i've looked at robin and it would seem she's in a coma not a medical coma but a magical one i'll have to research it more i've only heard of one or two cases like this for now see if the doctors will let you take her home and make her comfortable no. What, what do no. you What do you mean? What do you mean a magical coma? This This doesn't make any sense. I don't understand, little Kelly. What's going on? I know you don't come from a magical background, Donnie, but this is not good. If If the wizard has only seen one or two cases like it, I mean, it doesn't look good. And he's asking us to go get a doctor to make her comfortable. Isn't that what they say when someone's dying? Oh no! Don't Don't see things like that. Oh my gosh, poor little Robin, my poor little baby. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. I don't know what to do. A, a magical coma. This doesn't make any sense. Does that mean that somebody put a magical spell on her to put into this coma? Probably. Oh I don't know, we need to figure out who, but we need to go and find a doctor to tell them that we're going to take her home so she can have as many donuts and have her toys around her and be in her bedroom in case the worst thing happens. 
Oh no, don't say that, don't say that, little Kelly, please don't say it. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. She's in a magical coma. We have to make her comfortable. This is just the worst day of my life. Um, what are we going to do? I don't know. I feel so, so guilty. I feel like we, we should have done more to protect her. We should have, we should have, we should have left her alone. Oh my gosh, we left her alone. She fell over and now she's in this coma. I wonder did somebody break in and put a magical spell on her. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so worried. Me too, Donnie. I don't know what to do. 